So I'm walking through the forest here at Fort Macon. It's a maritime forest. And this plant right here, the Yopon holly, or Ilex vomitoria, is native to this area. One of the things you might find interesting about this is that the leaves and the stems contain caffeine. So if you've missed your morning coffee or you need just a little extra pick-me-up, you can collect some leaves, dry them in the oven, and make a little tea. Um, what the, the Native Americans used to use this for is they used it in their cleansing or purification ceremony. They would drink it to the point where it caused them to vomit or get rid of everything that they had had that morning to, to eat or drink or whatever. Um, but this plant is also a common plant in the landscape and nursery industry. It's a, uh, it has many forms that can be used in the landscape. Some of them are dwarf forms that are very tight, compact, only get between four and five feet tall, make really great foundation plants. Another one, the one that I really like, is a weeping form. And this weeping form makes a great focal point in the landscape. So if you're wondering what's going on or what you might want to use in the landscape, consider Yopon holly. It's native. The birds love it, love the berries in the fall. The bees love to, to visit the flowers in the spring. And if you get a little bit thirsty, you can always collect some leaves, dry them out, make your tea. But remember, don't drink too much of it or you might vomit. Get it? All right, have a great day.